Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. Dynamic change in the history of Aternum last night as the forces of Searing Void establish a forward observation point in Morningdale. And the forces of Perplexuals capture the crown and kingdom of the Western Monarch's Bluff. We caught up first with Searing Void on the steps of City Hall and spoke with one of the relaxing victors. All right, Ricky, congratulations on your victory out there tonight over and about half time. How do you think it went out there? I think it went great, bro. Every one of our players and whoever helped us, there's too many people. They all did an amazing job. We played well on each club, rotations. We had a sport plan that I don't know about. But, hey, you know who are the team players I, I was out there with? Zeno, Sage, Einstein, and Maz, bro. Top tier Yo, players. Ricky Bobby! Before I let you go back to celebrating and let you off the hook, is there anything you'd like to tell the citizens of Eternum now that you're in this position? We're, we're about to connect the pipeline from Warningdale to Cutlass. That's purple. Wait, no, no pipeline in MD. What are you doing? No pipeline here. As discussion of the pipeline continued in Morningdale, KOTT News traveled to Monarch's Bluff to speak with the victors there. We fought hard, we fought long, and in the end, no matter how much they struggled, we took their home territory from them. You see, John, LMPH thought they were smart. They thought they were great. They came to Morningdale, and they may have got a lucky victory. But that was a short-lived victory for them. Because now, not only have they lost that territory, but we wanted revenge, I tell you. Revenge. We came back. We took the bluffs from them. This is our territory now. And as for what we're going to do with it, make it for the people. Checking on the weather, and it's looking like a pretty nice day all afternoon long until late evening cold fronts will bring a 20% chance of invasion from the north. Just one submission for simulated fantasy combat resolution tonight brought to you by LARPCO. Remember... If it isn't LARPCO, it's cardboard tonight. The Marauders of Alab PH assault the Covenant forces of Ancient Templar for control of the bear infested deep forests of Brightwood. Alab PH bounce back from splitting their fights last night and get right back to their efforts to capture Brightwood. Ancient Templar forces have held the deep forests for a month fighting off multiple assailants who have caused delays in church construction. Be sure to tune in for complete coverage and reactions from the citizens at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.